So we're here at my favorite outdoor collectible show of the year, the Richland Vintage and Toy Fest, sponsored by Shoreline Vintage and Antiques. This is an amazing festival. There are so many vendors, and there's always such amazing stuff here to be found. So in today's video, come along with me. We'll take a look around the show, and then, of course, I'll show you my booth because I'm here set up to sell as well. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you anything I pick up, and we'll talk a little bit about today's show. All right, enjoy. Can you possibly relate to what he's saying? I, I uh, could probably. Relate to that. Yeah. It's only cool when it's me. I know. Did you want place last time? Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I got more. Here, here's for your mask. She broke your mask. Oh, Thank you. Enjoy. It's a good piece. You can put it on that thing. It's my creepy kid. He's going to be hiding in the hallway when uh, I know. Okay. <laughs> cool. Enjoy. Thank you. Goodbye. Put my wallet behind the wallet. Oh, so what are you doing? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to come up with three years. I'm going to come up with three years.
Look at all this amazing stuff. There is so many cool toys and comics and other amazing pop culture collectibles. There's video games. There's everything vintage and retro. This is hands down one of the best shows in my area. I'm really excited to walk around today, see what they have, see what I can come home with. But I'm also selling here today. I have a full booth with a lots of vintage toys and collectibles and comics and all different really cool stuff. So hopefully I can sell a few things as well to help fund the hobby. So let's keep going and see what else we can find.
All right, everybody, so I'm back home now, and man, that was an amazing show. Look at all those collectibles that we saw, so many comics and toys and video games, so much cool retro and vintage stuff. I had so much fun. The weather was beautiful. There was a million vendors there. There were food trucks and ice cream trucks, and I mean, there were so many people that were attending the event as well. And huge shout out to Shoreline Vintage and Antiques. They put on one heck of a show. I had so much fun. And I had a booth there. I was set up. I was selling. And I did really well. I sold two full short boxes worth of comics. I sold two big Rubbermaid bins full of toys. I mean, I sold a lot of stuff. I ended up making quite a few bucks and I'm super excited because now I can go out and buy more stuff and make videos for all of you. So I'm really excited about that. Plus, I bought some incredible things as well. You know what? Let's take a look at the haul now. I didn't get too much stuff here, but I got some pretty cool pieces and I got some pretty awesome deals on all this stuff here. A little bit of everything, a little bit of vintage toys, vintage video games, and just some cool collectibles here. Really excited, most of this stuff here is for my personal collection, and a few of these pieces I will end up reselling. Let's take a closer look. Starting off with the retro video games, I did pick up this Sega Genesis mini console from AT Games. It was just the console, didn't come with the power supply, the video cable, or the controllers, but I got it for $3, and the guy said that it works, so hopefully it does. If not, I'm only out 3 bucks. but I needed a uh, just a little console to test my Genesis games on, so I was happy about picking that up. This was a great find. I found a nice little uh, teal Game Boy color, not too bad at all, or a blue, or whatever color this is. Uh, it works great. I'll flip it on here. I did put some batteries in there, and it works great. It's got a couple little scratches on the screen, but it's a fairly clean. And then from a separate vendor, I found an empty box for that Game Boy Color. So now I have the box and the Game Boy, which pretty much doubles its value. That is really awesome. Uh, from that same vendor that I got the box, I also got an empty a Game Boy Advanced uh, Limited Platinum Edition box. Um, either I'll save this until I find one of these Game Boys, or maybe I'll just resell the box on eBay, something like that. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I did get a whole bunch of uh, handheld Game Boy games here. I got Rampage. Pretty awesome. Another Rampage here, but this one has a yellow logo. This one has a white logo, so let me know down in the comments if you have any idea what the difference is. I also got Mortal Kombat 4 for Game Boy. I got Tetris. Not too bad. We got Batman Forever. That's pretty awesome. I picked up Page Master. And I got Zelda Link's Awakening. Some really awesome games there. Then I also got a Game Boy Advanced Tekken Advance. Pretty cool there. And we got uh, Powerpuff Girls for Game Boy Color. Cats for Game Boy Color. And Tony Hawk Pro Skater for Game Boy Color as well. I ended up getting a bunch of these as a lot uh, with the Game Boy. Um, I believe I paid... I paid, They had these games priced at $10 a piece. Um, well, some of them. There was a handful of them. And the Game Boy priced at 50 And I think I ended up paying like 100 bucks for everything or something like that. I got a really good deal. So really excited about all the Game Boy games. Also got some NES games. We got um, Bandai Golf. It's got like a little foil void sticker on there. Kind of weird. Uh, we got Jeopardy for NES. Nice clean cartridge. Also picked up uh, Dragon Warrior. Nice game here. Love the. I just love the artwork on those. And we also picked up Immortal, which is another awesome game here with some really cool artwork. So four NES cartridges. Um, not too bad. I think I paid $5 or less for each of those. That was a great deal. Also picked up a couple retro books here. The Real Ghostbusters, The Haunted Castle. I thought that was really cool. Uh, the Ghostbusters Training Manual with stickers. Awesome. 
uh, Ghostbusters, what is this? Featuring the Ugly Little Spud Slimer. This one's in kind of rough shape. Uh, those were all a dollar a piece. I thought that was great. Nice little deal for the vintage Ghostbuster books. And then also we got Gizmo and the Gremlins, story number two. And this is a uh, book and 45 record. How awesome is that? And I got this for two bucks. I thought that was a steal of a deal. Very, very cool. Um, and now let's get to the vintage toys. Some really cool stuff here that I'm excited to add to the collection. First off, I got a couple of these uh, vintage like knockoff figures. Uh, this guy here who is super cool. He's got like a werewolf head and he's got like a wrestling body, which is just so crazy. Uh, these are like knockoff figures or bootleg figures. Uh, I believe this line is called Mantix Monsters or Mantix Warriors, something like that. He's super cool. Uh, he was 25 bucks, but I've seen him selling for 40 or 50. Uh, we also got this one here, which I believe is from the Galaxy Warriors uh, wrestler series. He kind of looks like Jesus, uh, but just a cool knockoff He-Man wrestling type figure. I got him for $1, which is a great deal. He sells for like 40 bucks on eBay. And I got this awesome dude here. Um, I forgot what this is called. I'll throw it up on the screen. Um, aliens from the planet something. Quasar, something like that. I'm not really sure, uh, but he is awesome. I got him for 15 bucks. Just an amazing knockoff bootleg type figure. Really, really excited about that one. I also picked up two of these Beetleborg monsters. We have the Mummy, and we have uh, this guy here. I always forget his name, but he kind of looks like a mix between a Blue Meanie and Elvis. He's pretty cool. Those were a dollar a piece. I also got some Ninja Turtles. We got Firefighter Donatello. I got him for, I think, three or four bucks. I needed him for the collection. I also got a um, Battle Troll. He's awesome. He's the punk um, or goth or whatever that guy is, but he's super awesome. And uh, the Battle Trolls lines are really, really cool. I got him for a dollar. I also got some LJN wrestlers. Uh, we have the Iron Sheik. We got Big John Stud, and we got Hillbilly Jim. These are really clean. Uh, normally, their paint is really bad or they have a lot of scuffs and markings on them uh, but these ones are really pretty nice looking figures for the uh, vintage ljn line and i got these for uh, i think i got these two here for 15 bucks for both of them and then i got him for i think 10 bucks so really good deal normally they sell for about 15 to 25 dollars a piece so i'm really excited to add those especially since they're really nice condition and i also got the biker mice from mars Riding the motorcycle, really, really cool. It's supposed to come with like a ripcord that uh, you stick in there and you pull the ripcord and he's supposed to like, you know, ride his motorcycle, his tail's uh, waving in the wind. Uh, but really, really cool. I got him for, I think for maybe five or 10 bucks, but I love the Biker Mice from Mars, super cool stuff. But that is the haul of loose figures and retro video games. I also got a box of carded figures. Let's take a look at those. So I ended up getting a handful of these vintage carded action figures. We'll jump right into it. Here we have some G.I. Joe Ninja Force. This is Dojo. Really, really cool. I definitely had this when I was a kid. And um, just that classic 90s, you know, pink and blue and yellow colors. They just are so nostalgic to me. And he's a cool figure here. Uh, mint on card. I mean, it's got a little bit of issues with the card, but... Still, it is sealed, and I got him for ten dollars. Um, or no, I'm sorry, twenty dollars. But that's still a really good price. Uh, we also got another Ninja Force. This one's in really nice condition. This is, of course, Snake Eyes. Awesome, sealed on the card, mint condition. Got him for thirty bucks. Normally, they sell for around forty or fifty. Um, you know, sealed on card, especially for Snake Eyes, which is you know one of the more popular characters. I also got some of the Skeleton Warriors. These are amazing. I love these figures. This is Shriek, uh, the female Skeleton Warrior. 
Really, really cool. Sealed on card. Just so excited about these. Um, I ended up getting three of them for 50 bucks. So they, they were priced at 20. I got all three for 50. We got Aracula. He's got uh, six arms. Really, really cool. The, uh, the molds on these figures are just so awesome. So detailed. And we also got Baron Dark. He is awesome. And they come with all the little accessories. Super cool. This was a really fun cartoon as well. I really enjoyed watching that when I was a kid. And then I also picked up the RoboCop Ultra Force. This was only five bucks, so I had to get it. Some classic 1988 goodness here. So really cool. Excited about these. I used to have a bunch of these figures when I was a kid. And the vehicles. I mean, RoboCop. How awesome is that? And then, last but not least, this one is really cool. This is the Police Academy, Larvel Jones and Bullhorn. How awesome is that? Uh, looks like it had an old price on there for $2.99. This is also from 1988, made by Kenner. Mint on card. Really, really awesome. I used to love the Police Academy movies. I just thought this was so cool when I saw it. And he had it only priced at 10 bucks. Normally, I see these police academy figures for much more than that and this one is sealed on card look at all the other crazy characters that they had i do have a couple of these loose in my collection but this is my first one mint on card not too bad for the vintage toys and retro video games i'm really excited about this haul all right, everybody, so that's the video for today. We checked out the hall. We checked out this amazing outdoor collectible show. I think this was definitely one of the best ones that I've been to in a while. It was so much fun. Everybody was really cool. I met some new people. I saw some old friends, and I ended up selling a whole bunch of stuff, and I even bought some really incredible things as well. And the prices there were pretty decent. I mean, the deals were definitely there to be had. So... Definitely a 10 out of 10 for this show. I can't wait for the summertime show. And then, of course, they do it every year, twice a year, once in the spring, once in the summer. It's so much fun. If you're in the area, you definitely got to come check it out. And hopefully I'll be there every time selling as well as uh, hunting for cool collectibles. So that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.